Shalom. It's Brother Montezal from the Indiana Camp. I'm giving another quick lesson here on uh, giving a lesson today on uh, how the Most High is at enmity with the world. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. All right. I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, here in the book of uh, James, chapter 4, verse 4. He said, Ye adulterous and adulteress, know ye, Salakia, know ye not that the friendship of the world is at enmity with the Most High. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the power. So basically, if you're being friends with this world, man, you're an enemy of the most high. The most high, you're, you're against the most high. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go in this word, into this word here. Uh, we're going to go into this word enmity. Let's look at the meaning here, which is... Uh, Strong's G twenty one eighty nine. Strong's G twenty one eighty nine. Okay. Estra. The meaning is uh, it means uh, hostility by implication, a reason or opposition, enmity or hatred. So basically, anything that's opposite against the Most High is a uh, is em is an enmity. And uh, the way you can, the, the way of being against the Most High is to, to not, you know, do His will. Not doing the things according to His will, but doing your own will. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get a scripture real quick to uh, kind of like explain it a little bit more. Um, it's in the book of 1 John 2. First John two and fifteen. Okay, yeah, this is first John two and fifteen. He said, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So basically you see he said, Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. The things that are in this world is all wickedness. The things of this world, as we read in, uh, in um, James 4 and 4, the things that are in the world are enmity with the Most High. It's opposite. He says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. He says, for all that is in the world... For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. See, that's all that's in the world. Anything that's the, the, uh, that you lust and want after, you know, your flesh is desiring after. You know, you can you can be uh, into uh, adultery, uh, eating uh, abominations, uh, putting uh, other things before the Most High, like your family, your friends. Uh, it can be anything. Anything can be a lust. It says, and the lust of the eyes, see, and the pride of life <laughs> is not of the Father, but is of the world. Those are the things that are of the world. These are the things that are not in, in uh, according to the Most High's will. He says, and the world passes away, and the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So those who do the will, see, they let you know right there. See, if you're doing the will of the Heavenly Father, you're going to abide, abide forever. So you're not going to be an, en an enemy. You're going to be with the Most High. You're going to be the Most High's friend. And you're going to um, get salvation. You're going to abide forever. <laughs> 
we get uh real quick this is a uh, the good one too and if you are with the most high you're going to be also hated you know you know because you are of the most high because you do the will of the most high you're going to be hated of this world so the world is also going to be enmity with us for those who believe in Yahweh by shim Shai, which is they are you know, the world hates us, man, because we speak the truth out there in the highways and the byways. You know, we're out here trying to wake up our people and tell them who they are. You know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians are the true children of the Most High. That the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, we're trying to wake up the elect. And in doing so, we're trying to, uh, we're telling them that, you know, there's a lot of false prophets out here that they're listening to. Like these fake pastors. These false Hebrew Israelite camps, you know, and because we bring them forth the truth, you know, we're being hated of it, man. You know, and our Lord, he told us that that was going to happen. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab a scripture on that real quick. This is in the book of John. Uh, some slack here. First John. Three. And I'm going to say three and thirteen. This is what the Lord said uh, about that. He said, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. He said, you know, he told us not to marvel at it. I mean, wonder not, you know. Basically, don't be surprised, you know, because that's going to happen because the world hated him first, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get that too. This is uh, John in the book of John, chapter 15. Uh... I think it started at 18. I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, con. This is a uh, book of John, chapter 15, verse 18. He says, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Con. Because. The, the Lord, he was uh, he was uh, testifying against this wicked place. You know, he came to testify against it. And he, and he spoke the truth of it. So the world hated him, you know, for exposing them for their wickedness. You know, and now we're, we're representatives of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And we're doing the same thing. We're exposing this world for, for the wickedness of it. You know, like, for instance, a so-called white man who's known as Esau Edom in the scriptures, you know, we're exposing how, how he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man, through the scriptures. And he said, if ye were of the world, Salakia, he said, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. So basically, if we was going along with this place, you know, when we was going to church, eating chillings, pork, committing adultery, you know, being simple, being a woman worshiper, a woman pleaser, a crowd pleaser, whatever, then, you know, the world would love us. The world would accept us, you know, and if we was against the Lord, you know, yeah, then the world, you know, the world would be with us. He says, but because ye are not of the world, see, we're not of this place, man, because the Lord, he pulled us out of it, man. He quickened our spirits with his Holy Ghost, man, with the truth. And he opened up our eyes to what was going on, man, and filled us with this with, with his wisdom and knowledge to go and preach out in the streets and out on YouTube, on the Internet. He says, but I have chosen you out of the world. See, he chosen us out of the world, you know, to bring forth the uh, to preach uh, uh, the gospel, you know, to wake up the elect. You know, he says, therefore, the world hated you. So now the world, they hate they hate us, you know, because the Lord chose us to um, speak the same words that he was speaking. You know, we, we prophesied the downfall of this wicked place, and we're exposing the wicked. And, we, and we're preaching the gospel to wake up the elect. He said, remember the world, remember the word, Slakia, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. So, we're not greater than Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. We're his servants. You know, he's above us, man. He, the, the Most High gave him the word first, you know, to bring forth to us. 
and now we're bringing forth toward our uh, to 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 the elect that's out here lost. Is it? Uh, he said, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. So yeah, kind. They're gonna also persecute us, man. Which do have it, man. You start within your own families, man. You know, they, they laugh, they talk crazy, they say we, we're crazy. You know, we got we got these stupid beards on our face, these dresses. You know, women. You know, they come and go. They don't stay. They don't stay with you. There's a lot of brothers who had women when they first came in this troop, but they lost them. There's brothers that lost jobs. You know, lost your friends. His brothers who don't even deal with their families no more because of being in the truth, man. You know? And we are going to get persecuted on a higher level, man, because of this truth, man. We're going to get picked up by um, by, uh, by these uh, um, these agents for, pitch, uh, for uh, preaching this word probably, man. You know? We're going to even be put to death for bringing forth this, this the, the gospel, the true gospel. And so I said they will... So, so we also gonna be persecuted, man, for the truth's sake. He says, and if they have kept, Salakia, he says, and if they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. He says, but all these things, Salakia, but all these things will they do, Salakia, but all these things will they do unto you. For my name's sake, see all these things is going to be done for the name for the name of your how for the for your how about Shimei Awasha for his name's sake, man. You know, and you got to be preaching in that name too for these things to happen to you to be not of this world. If you're not preaching in that name, your how about Shimei Awasha, you 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 still in the world, man. You still part of this system. You're still stuck in the system. Because if you're not saying that name, that's, that's showing that you're not with the Lord, man. And you're not with us neither. You know, we're not with you, 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 you other camps out here that's not preaching in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord ain't with you neither, man. And you're going to be destroyed for that, man. He says, because they know not, it's like it, because they know not him that sent me. See, they don't know Yahweh. You know, these are the ones that don't know Yahweh, man. They not with the Lord, man. These people are out here for vain glory, man. They out here to get. They out here selling out for fit, for filthy lucre's sake. They not out here to serve the Lord, man. They out here for themselves, man. And we out here, you know, for the Lord, man, to do the will of the heavenly Father, man, to do as we was instructed, man. And that was to go out here in these highways and the byways to wake up the elect, man. And and, and Lord willing, stay faithful unto death, man. So that we can, so we can uh, receive the salvation, man. You know, that's basically it, man. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Uh, with that, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, and peace and salutations to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.